Hello and welcome, thank you for watching this video. So I wanted to make this video of how to fix a trillion dollar problem. Because right now guys, the insurance industry is broken. Most insurance agents are broke. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that are going into that. And, and I'll cover some of this uh, later on in this video. Uh, but this is just an intro video. Wanted to talk to you just, just a little bit about myself. Uh, first of all, my name is Gaspar Michelle. I've sold insurance since 2009. Won a couple trips, won a couple awards. Done a lot of different roles and responsibilities in different companies. Um, I said I worked for a couple different companies. Uh, moved a couple times, so uh, a couple times when I moved, I had to start all over. And definitely when I moved companies, I had to start all over. So I had lots of ups and downs in the industry. Um, you know, it seems like a lot more downs than up sometimes, but um, what I liked about this industry is there's just so many good things about it, but I'll cover some of that later. But let me just talk about my dream I had. It was about 20 years ago. I was about 17 years old. So I guess you know, if you did the math, I'm 37 now. But I was about 17 years old, and sometimes when I fall asleep with the TV on, I'll dream whatever's on TV or whatever's on the radio, whatever it may be. But this, I had this dream. I still don't know if it was something that the TV was on or what. But I remember it was like this. Um, it was a software program that helped liberate people and you know from freedom or it gave people freedom from slavery. And I, I just don't really remember the the whole point of the plot and I, don't, I remember I think it was like a hacker show or something like that but anyways I was dreaming it so I was actually the main character and uh, it's kind of funny when I have those lucid dreams like that with the TV on because sometimes I'll dream like a commercial or things like that but in this particular dream after we freed the slaves I just remember having this like um, this deep thought and it wasn't like actual slaves it wasn't like what you're thinking of like 2,000 years ago it was I remember it was a computer program that basically liberated people and it was about their debt and just how they were trapped in this matrix like system but it was like I said 20 years ago so it definitely wasn't the matrix but it was a little it was a couple years before that but anyways um when I ha when I woke up I just remember having this like profound feeling like you're gonna free the slaves and I'm just like it doesn't make any sense like I couldn't think of slaves at the moment but I just thought that was kind of weird and when I went to work um, I remember the like uh, it was shortly thereafter it couldn't have been much more than a day or two uh, but this girl just started calling me Gaspartacus and I just thought that was kind of weird and kind of went together Spartacus freeing the slaves and actually in that show the name of the the software system was called Spartacus and so it was just kind of weird so but Kind of going back to my insurance career, uh, for the first seven years I worked for one company and uh, you know we sold supplemental products, business to business, and I always wanted to sell more life insurance and disability and people really weren't buying it as much as some of the other products, which was fine, but um, I remember towards the end of my career uh, with that company, I had three life-changing events. Uh, first, and I don't remember which one of these two happened first, but uh, first it was this young 24-year-old uh, kid. I remember he signed up to get his benefits, and all he really got was a dental and vision. I think he got one other policy, but I can't remember. It wasn't a whole lot. And I was like, hey, are you sure you don't want to add in that accident policy or the life insurance? And I remember for him, it was such a small amount. It was going to be like $2.16 or something to that effect. And he's like, no, I'm good. I'll just get it next year. And part of me was like, yeah, there may not be another year, you know, but I didn't want to be that cheesy salesman. I don't want to use those, you know, those cheesy lines. So I just kind of um, let him walk off and I just kind of didn't think much about it. And I remember the, it was the um, it was like a Wednesday or Thursday and literally three days later he he actually uh, was in a bad car accident and died and the following Monday the uh, the HR person called me and said you know hey did he end up uh, buying any um, any life insurance and I was like no why she's like well her his family just called he was in a car accident and he passed away this week and they want to know if he had any life insurance and I just remember I felt horrible and I had his um, I remember I had his paperwork and I just couldn't throw it away like I mean I, it was sitting in my in my briefcase for uh, honestly four to six months and then one day just disappeared I, I, I know I didn't throw it away I, I somehow lost it or it fell out who knows but um, 
so that was one. Second one is I had a lady who uh, she bought like multiple policies, you know, three or four policies, and it was all on herself. She had her kids to a couple, and I, you know, she mentioned she had a husband. I said, "Well, do you want to add your husband to that?" She goes, "Oh no, he's got great insurance." And I was like, "Okay, well, it's fine." And, you know, like I said, I'm not a very pushy salesperson, so I said, "Okay, that's fine." And after a couple of days later, she calls me. She said, hey, did I end up putting my husband on those policies? I was like, no, why? She's like, well, he had an aneurysm, and um, he's in the hospital right now, and he may he may pass away. And I just remember th- like not knowing much about aneurysms at the time, and I didn't know you could actually die from one of those. And, and he ended up passing away a couple of days later. And I remember talking to her shortly thereafter and just checking up on her. And uh, you know, I just felt horrible. And she never blamed me, but I just, you know, part of me was like, man, if I if I could have just got her dad, her husband, to that, you know, I'd definitely be able to help her right now. And then with my personal situation was um, about five years ago when my father passed away. Um, you know, he he ended up passing away in Mexico, and and you know, we still to this day don't know if he had any life insurance. And but I remember at his funeral, and I'm grieving, and it was the worst day of my life, and. I just remember the funeral director coming up to us and saying, you know, who's going to pay for this funeral? And, and I just remember part of me was just so angry at him that he would come to me in my moment of, of sadness. But the other part is understood, like he's just doing his job. And luckily, um, and I remember thinking, man, this is horrible. Like, how am I going to pay for this? Like, do I have enough money? Does my brother and sister, between me, between us, we can pay for it without having to, you know, ask the, the rest of the family about it? But I remember my uncle fortunately stepped up and he's like, no, no, don't worry about it, guys. I got it. And he went to the back and, you know, and, you know, wrote him a check for, for the funeral. And so, you know, those are just my life changing events that made me realize how important life is or how important life insurance is. And, um, and that's kind of what tied everything together with my realization of how important life insurance is. And also, too, how it tied together with Spartacus. I know a lot of people are just um, living their lives just day to day without dreams, ambitions, and goals. And they're also just not prepared for death, um, unfortunately. So that's kind of how I tied that all together. Uh, maybe it makes sense to you, but maybe it doesn't. But to me, it makes a whole lot of sense. But um, but uh, also, I wanted to kind of go over why I named it Spartan Insurance Network. Uh, like I said about Spartacus, uh, also um, I just liked the mo. I actually thought that Spartacus and Spartan were the same thing. I didn't know that the Spartans existed before Spartacus, so there was a little lesson I learned after I named it this. But um, any, another reason I named that is the agent perspective, because being an agent is just a ward of attrition. I've seen so many good agents that we lost in this industry because they didn't get enough training, didn't get enough sales in right away. Just a lot of things happen. There's a lot of things that could happen to an agent for them to quit or leave the industry. But also, um, I just like the whole Spartan, you know, uh, how they were very just team oriented and together everybody achieves and why I, I, I deeply deeply believe that so I really wanted to focus on that and I wanted to focus on training and I wanted to focus on a lot of different things that I think that the Spartans were really known for um, but also from the client perspective you know I want to help them achieve financial freedom you know I think slavery is even though it's not um, what some people might think is, or there actually is still slavery like that, but that's another video. Uh, but just the financial freedom of, of that just most people don't have, and they're they're stuck in a system where they don't save money, they don't have money saved up, but they definitely don't have enough for um, for retirement. So I want to help people with that. But also I just think it's a brand that people can relate to. Um, it is kind of a marketing deal that you know they, they may not know everything about the Spartans, but hopefully they can remember it. So, uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna have a couple other videos uh, after this one. Uh, talk a little bit more about the industry. All right, thanks.